Well, you didn't say any kind of conversation that you're not sure why she's overthinking it. But um, this is just a random example. Um, does she know about your smack on a bomb last night, for example? Um, no. So would, would that be the problem? That happened, that happened like we were both intoxicated and it was a joke. Fair enough. So the Zumba pair got evicted. Of course, we all know today being Sunday is a live eviction show. And um, the Zumba pair, the Beta pair, One X and the pair, the Double K pair, as well as the Checkers pair, were up, were nominated for possible eviction. And at the end of the day, the Zumba pair got evicted. And I'm like, okay, good radiance. Because what um, Ching Wei has been done in our moment, has been done in this week all through like she has been you know spreading negative vibes she has been sleeping guys and i'm like this girl is not giving content again she's not giving and i bet she don't come and go mm? she should come and go so eventually she was evicted Ciao. and also ebuka came to the house gun blazing like he was just shooting the house with tata -ta 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 -ta, straight bullets everywhere he was his mission this week was to come and break ships to come and scatter relationships, capsize them, scatter them, destroy. No more kumbaya, no more, you know, all of that. And then he also questioned Onyeka. And we've been asking for this, and it has finally happened. Ebuka listened to us. So he came and he questioned Onyeka about all what knows. But before we dive into the details of this, hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, your girl, Peace Samuel, and this is Bible Peace. You all especially welcome to my youtube channel for new subscribers special ox to you all for returning subscribers massive welcome to you all as well you guys are the real mvps Mwah! i love you all Mwah! Mwah! peace and love guys okay if you haven't subscribed yet please kindly do so turn up the notification bell button and like my videos as well comment your thoughts down below quickly let's dive straight into our business of today <laughs> live eviction show started with the highlight of this week the housemates live eviction um nomination the live nominations the housemates activities and their sponsor tax everything they've been doing all through since this week started so Ebuka addressed the housemates and he called them the ultimate love housemate <laughs> that was quite funny because we all know this ultimate show ultimate love show it's actually a, a, a show for couples or you know people that go into the show they fall in love and then they sponsor i think the prize um the end prize is for them to sponsor their wedding or something like that and um, if the they are actually in a relationship and they go outside the house and the relationship survives so everything that the housemates have been doing all through this week like all through since the beginning of this show is being cheap 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 ah, i want to get on this ship with you strategic ship this one ship alliance ship uh ship 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 everywhere so it's only right for ebuka to call them ultimate love because this one will be big brother again our ultimate love and they do because what is this if i know someone they do ship why not go ultimate love show i'm gonna go they do ship for them hmm? he then asked um anita about what um ben had told her a conversation with Tofa regarding this age issue that they had and um what was their resolve and um what ben had told her because it was as though this male housemates to be precise are deliberately trying to capsize that ship they're trying to break the tough tonita ship and then anita had responded that um tofa told her that they are of the same age which is 26 this 26 or 29 and um that we all know that's a lie so far should be like 24. so we don't know so she said she has decided to leave it at that like they should just enjoy the relationship and do whatever they're doing till they get outside the house then she will find out his real age and know if the relationship is going to continue or she's going to call it quick because as we all know she had said that she cannot date somebody that she is older than outside the house like she cannot generally she cannot date someone that she's older than and ebuka had said okay it was as though so far wanted to melt then Ebuka had moved on to Sean and he had asked um, Sean about uh, the statement he made to Tofa and Sood when he was having a conversation with them about uh, Nelly being his first choice, actually his spec and his love interest 
but then Wani had come and she had but because um he actually likes Nelly, but because she hadn't given him there was no time and he's not someone that likes to chase after girls so he had relaxed to see how it's going to go when he just got into the house and then Wani had come after him and then they are in a ship now what does he mean by that that is he trying to say that um Wani is a second choice and then this guy had after much mumbling and blabbing and uh, using phonetics to scatter our head and uh, um you know why not this guy had said no that um Wani is not actually the second option and um he does this he what he was explaining i wasn't even understanding even though my tv was on highest because that was the only thing he resulted into saying that one is actually not the second option I'm like mm, okay so Ebuka then moved on to Nika, and at this point i just knew they were, there was going to be just one eviction because it was taking his time to drill this housemate so Ebuka then moved on to Onyeka and he had asked her why she felt as though she is a threat to the aces ship in the house the situation ship or relationship or whatever ship that they are in and then this girl after mumbling a lot of rubbish she had resulted into saying that um it's not as if it was a fact but it was just an assumption it's what she felt like 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 that was the reason because these um um girls the nelita pair when they won the head of house challenge they had you know picked them the checkers pair as their guests as to picking the aces pair because they don't want the um checkers pair they don't want onyeka to be precise to be in the house with uh with the aces pair and seduce them sort of or collect them from you know something that was so senseless because i don't understand why you resulted into that assumption in the first place so ebuka further asked her about the complaints or the conversation that she was having with someone in the house and then she had mentioned that victoria went to put on short skirt to seduce Ozzy. now what is that that um is she that baby um victoria is like trying to pay, play out to get meanwhile she likes Ozzy. and Ebuka that's her, do you not like Ozzy as well and she was like mm, this girl was just going here yeah she was just going left right center up down she was just eh, something like that you know it's just you know she talks a lot and she was just you no know, it was just a it was just normal band a play this guy don't even know what to talk mm -hmm. and i liked that for her because she goes around inserting herself in different different conversations different different originally she, she says a lot and people on the internet on x app and different um social medias they've been calling ebuka to drill her to ask her questions so she will calm down she would chillax but who knows if she would relax or not then ebuka had then moved on to kelly ray ebuka had then moved on to suj and he has asked suj about the issue that he had with nelly last night after the saturday night party after the saturday night bedu and that um um nelly had expressed herself that she had felt jealous at the way that um suj wasn't giving her attention he was rather giving uh, other housemates attention dancing with them and you know doing all what not with them like you know and then he had explained that they are in a better place right now they've actually sorted it out that it's, it's just a normal thing that he does when he's at party he tries to enjoy the party to the fullest like it's not as if he wasn't giving her time he was actually giving her time but then the, the quality time that she wanted he didn't know that he wasn't giving it to her but then they've resolved this now and that they are all well and good and then ebuka went for that to ask Ebuka went further to ask him if that suj, if Nelly knows about this spanking of ass session that he had with um Onyeka, because apparently last night at the kitchen area, Onyeka had said, spank my ass, <laughs> spank me, and then he had spanked her loudly, and we could see Nelly's facial expression like she was shocked. <laughs> she was like, mm. She was gave the face as she was smiling, you know. She was looking okay. Oh. But then she gave the uh, so this look of you are dead today. When we leave this place, you are finished. <laughs> and I was just in my chair, I was just laughing, like this guy, this guy is mocking me. You are in a ship with another person, you are spanking another person's ass. I am tired. I am tired of you people in this house. And then um when Ebuka had asked so so just said that um that it was it was just a playful moment that it was he and um, Onyeka, they were both 
intoxicated with alcohol and brother suj you were not you were not because it was after it was after or before that the fight that you had you before the fight that you had with nelly you were looking okay on a carry food they make in the noodles have been waiting how are people intoxicated hmm? people that are intoxicated and they see fire lights to take making them to take make noodles I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Don't be giving us that when intoxicated bullshit. Mm? Take accountability for your actions. Mm? No, they try to gaslight us. No, they try to, you know. Anyways, moving on to the next. So, Ebuka had asked um, Kelly Ray about um, his issue with Cassia, that he was trying to, like, reprimand her and talk to her about her playful... Um, acts with male housemates especially especially when he was having when she was having um a playful session with um femi and then he had made mention made reference to that and um, they pressed my nipple where uh, why did they play with my nipple and um, parts she wasn't literally playing with his nipple it was just a joke she was using she was turning spatula and then he was like oh you are whining my nipple you they play with my nipple stop sort of and he had explained that no this is not that I just love the way Kelly Ray handled that and he explained that because the housemates were actually waiting for his answer to see if he was going to say, mm, that my wife, I'm moving my wife. But then this guy, in his composed manner, he had said it that, see, um, Cassia likes playing a lot. She can be very, very playful. But then the level in which there's a level you to get to that you would you reciprocate that kind of energy and then she would pick offense and she would get really angry and you know and he doesn't want that to spoil his game he doesn't want that that's why because they're a pain in the house and if that happens he's going to have issues with the person and he had made reference to the issue he had with mickey because of cassia so he had told uh, he had explained that this bone of contention was that she should reduce the way she plays because when these people come to play with you probably you're not in the mood or something and um it gets out of hand you might get angry and you lash out at this person and then it's cause a rift between me and the person and she doesn't want it wants their head to be in the game doesn't want that to ruin their game or something and then they will put them off with eviction possible eviction or you know stuff like that Sha. and i just love the way he had handled that he had explained that that yes as besties not as husband and wife because even as besties i can act that way too even as friends, even as acquaintances. Ebuka mm -hmm. <laughs> then moved on to ask the Zimwe pair about Zion's um the statements and complaints that um Chinwe has been making all through the week that um Zion no longer has a time, Zion no longer pays attention to her, he no longer um, you know, he no longer shows her love and you know, all what not. And Zion had explained that they started out out already but then it's not as if it's not showing her love and all of that after all he made her breakfast in bed and all of that and um he's not showing all of that because of course the honeymoon phase is over the time when he was um chasing after her and all of that we all know that he didn't chase after chingwe chingwe was the one that shot her shot so he explained that um he they are over that honeymoon phase where they are of course they are in a confiding space and then it is bound to happen they see each other every day every time it is bound to happen one time or the one way or the other it's just while i was explaining and expressing this it's the way chiwe was shaking her head in disagreement for me like she was trying to talk like no you don't understand if you cannot keep acting the way you were acting when we just met like during the honeymoon phase like could you say like you claim when we just met and all of that if you can't keep acting that in that way in that manner that's like the way she wants then there is no point in them still going on with you so there is no point in them continuing the relationship being in the relationship because it's pointless because how can you tell me that when um the honeymoon phase when we just had a relationship is when um things should get you should be sweet and all of that but now that you you now have me that we are dating that we are now you know in a relationship you now want to start forming um nonchalance and be acting like um you don't i don't i don't matter and all of that and anyway zion has said that um they started it out and even though chiwe was disagreeing that was it then um ebuka then moved on to ben yeah before he got to ben ben was already shaking <laughs> because ben talks too much Ben moves around the house, chow, 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 chow. he wants to hear everything. This is like the Al Jazeera, aside from Moyeka. 
Ben is another Al Jazeera. Me fa Ben na CNN. Hmm. I be Ben is um Arise Arise News. Let's come back to Nigerian news. Is Arise NTA Lagos Lagos uh, uh, Station Lagos Television. He's always trying to get the latest gossip, latest news, so that he will go and spill to his friends later on in the house to do. I know what is going on. I know what happened. I know what what, what they are on about. So, Ebuka had asked him if he guys, can you believe I've been talking for the past how long? And I just realized eh, that my microphone went off. This is the disadvantage of using this microphone. I am legit angry. I don't even know why I'm smiling. I am angry. So, I'm going to take it up from where Ebuka asked um, Ben um, if he had a piece of meat who would he give it to between anita and um chizoba and without him being able to split the meat into two or share the meat and, and after a little bit of hesitation he had said chizoba and um Ebuka was like mm, even though you hesitated for a few minutes meaning you you know you have um you thought about it for a while you didn't need to think about it if you actually know who exactly wanted to give it to but i'll that will, I'll, I'll pass on that and um, Ben had been like, yeah, he's going to give it to Shizoba because, of course, Shizoba knows. And um, he had given a lot of meat in the house and the entire house meat, they were laughing because it was really, really funny. So he had said that he was going to give it to uh, Shizoba and then Ebuka had gone ahead to evict the Zinwe pair, which was the first live eviction for tonight and only, actually. So uh, he had evicted the Zinwe pair and um, on stage he had asked them what is it for them going forward? He had asked Chinwe why she was, you know, dull this for this week. She was sleeping almost all through. She wasn't really active. She wasn't participating in anything and all of that. But we didn't get to hear Chinwe's answer because they went for commercial break. And by the time they got back, she was no longer talking. It was now over to Zion. And they had asked Zion what is moving forward. And Zion was doing a lot of, I, 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 I will do this, I will do that, I will do that. Forgetting that they're a pair, they came to play with him as a pair. And then at the end of the day, I said, Watch out for the Zinwe pair. Watch out for more things coming from us. But then on their way out, mm, Chime was holding him initially. All of a sudden, Baba, I don't know if it was, I don't know if it was impulse, if he removed the hand on impulse or it was intentional. He removed his hands from Chime's hand and he was like, you know, waving the fans. So we don't know. We are waiting for it. Mm? After the eviction of the Zumi pair, Ibuka then came back into the house to ask um, Femi a few questions. He had asked Femi what is it about the division in the house, why um, the Umbadue twin pair are always on one side and then the one next and the, with the rest of the housemates are always on the other side, that even on live shows, live eviction shows, they are always sitting separately, that what is with this division. And he had also asked um, Femi about the conversation he had with um, um, Kelly Ray about one knee and the twin to be precise, the one year and the twin pair being respectful to certain few number of um, the housemates, certain member of the house um, mate. And um, he had he was confused at first, he was like, Okay, Femi, he thinks this way. It was like, okay, Ebuka, I think this way. But then, which of the questions do you want me to answer first? Is it the Kali race conversation or the actually the division of the room? For the division of the house, it doesn't think there's any division. It's just that whenever people come into the house, they just sit here or they sit here. Wherever they see space, they sit. Most times, they like to sit with their pairs. So, like last week, um, they were doing they were here. And now, they are currently here. So, it doesn't, it doesn't think anything. It was not one of the persons that talked about the division and all of that. So, it doesn't know what Ebuka is talking about. And then he had spoken about briefly about there was no time for him to elaborate more on that and that is all he said for the night so that is where i would it for tonight tell me what you think about the zinwe pair live eviction and if you saw it coming if it was shocking to you or you saw it coming and um actually i thought that um the beta pair would be double eviction and maybe there'll be a new introduction of new housemates i don't know because with this season of big brother i don't know what Big Brother has up his sleeves. So, I and my friend were watching it, we were like, are they bringing you out it? Mm -hmm. Are they not? Because the way Ebuka was just going fast and fast and fast with everything, like throwing, you know, asking the housemate different, different questions, throwing different, different questions at them and all of that. And he was going so fast with it. So I was like, okay, maybe they're bringing you out Or maybe, ah, 
Yeah, and then we're like, our time is going on. You know, be like saying it's uh, only one house me, uh, only one pair. I need to wear this at the end of the day. They evict just one pair. So, if you guys tell me what you think about that in the comment section, tell me who you thought was going home, who your choice. As we all know, there were four, five housemates up for possible eviction that were nominated for possible eviction. The one year extended pair, double K pair, Zinwe pair, data pair, and also the checkers pair. And at the end of the day, the bottom three were the checkers pair as the top. They were top ranking. The, they were ranking top, um, followed by the beta pair, and lastly the Zinwe pair. So the Zinwe pair had been evicted for the show. So guys, that's why I call it for a night. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all on the next one. Do not forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notification bell button, and also share my videos to family and friends. Guys, that like only oh, and the subscription oh, is free. Oh, yeah, it costs nothing at all. So please do so. Mm? I'll see you on the next one, guys. All my love. Mwah! Peace and love, guys. Kisses. Kisses. Adios. Over. Adios. Mm.